On the link page of the iMachining Operation dialog box, note the ramping angle value of 4.8 degrees in the helical entry area. By default, the override checkbox is disabled and the technology wizard automatically calculates the helical cutting conditions per material hardness and aggressiveness of the machining level slider. Switch to the technology wizard page and reduce the machining level slider to 1. Then, switch back to the link page. Based on a low machining level aggressiveness of 1, iMachining calculated a small ramping angle value of 1.5 degrees. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate to look at the result. After clicking Play, you can see the tool performs the helical entry and pocket roughing toolpath with a low aggressiveness. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining Operation dialog box. Once again, switch to the Technology Wizard page. This time, move the machining level slider up to level 8, and then switch back to the link page. Based on a high machining level aggressiveness of 8, iMachining calculated a large ramping angle value of 5.2 degrees. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate to look at the result. After clicking Play, you can see the tool performs the helical entry and pocket roughing toolpath with a high aggressiveness. Close the Simulation Control Panel with the Exit button to display the link page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. When using more aggressive values, cooling can become a concern. You should be aware that large ramping angle values will generate more heat and proper cooling should be applied when necessary. An override checkbox is provided so a ramping angle value can be set manually as well. For example, you may want to enter the pocket with a low aggressiveness, but would also like to perform roughing with a high aggressiveness. With a machining level aggressiveness of 8, enable the checkbox to open the field for editing and enter a ramping angle value of 3.5 degrees for the operation. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate to look at the result. After clicking Play, you can see the tool performs the helical entry with a low aggressiveness, followed by a more aggressive pocket roughing toolpath. Exit the Simulation Control Panel, and switch to the Miscellaneous Parameters page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. Prior to SolidCam 2012, iMachining calculated helical cutting conditions based on the safest values. To perform a helical entry with the safest value on a per-operation basis, enable the classic Helical Cutting Conditions checkbox in the Technology Wizard area. You can also enable classic helical cutting conditions either per project on the iMachining page of the part settings, or globally on the iMachining page of the SolidCam settings. Switch back to the link page and disable the override checkbox for ramping angle. iMachining calculated a safe value of 2.5 degrees for the operation. Switch to the Technology Wizard page and return the machining level slider to 6, which is the original position according to the machine default level. Now, switch back to the link page once more. Notice that the Technology Wizard still uses the safest calculated ramping angle value of 2.5 degrees for the operation, no matter the aggressiveness of the machining level slider. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate to look at the final result. After clicking Play, you can see the tool performs a safe helical entry, followed by the pocket roughing toolpath with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Close the Simulation Control Panel with the Exit button to display the link page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. In the Helical Entry area, there is a checkbox called Center Cutting. If your tool does not have center cutting capability, 
It is important to disable the center cutting checkbox and enter a calculated step down value in the input field text box. The tool will stop ramping and make a full 360 degree arc at the specified step down to make the floor flat. The helical entry will continue this process until the total depth is achieved. Since it is more common to use a tool with center cutting capability, center cutting is enabled by default. At this stage, the rough machining of the main pocket is defined and helical entry was covered in detail.